Hello. A few years ago, a lady called Nazanin Zahari Radcliffe went to visit her parents in Iran. She was married to an Englishman and had a family, uh, but she wanted to see her parents. She was arrested on trumped up charges of spying. This is a woman who was just there to visit her parents and sentenced to five years in jail. And then uh, she was released. After, you know, she'd served her sentence, she was released. And then hours later, she was rearrested and charged with plotting to overthrow the Islamic Republic. Now, apart from the fact that I am of the opinion that, that if the Islamic Republic is so weak that it has to be frightened of a woman who's just spent five years in jail and wishes to go back to her family in, in Britain, then the Islamic Republic is really in a bad state. And um, we may wonder why the Islamic Republic is going after this woman with such ferocity. And the reason is because the Shah ordered some tanks from Britain, uh, paid 400 million pounds for the tanks, then was overthrown, and Britain did not turn over the tanks to Iran. Nor did Britain repay Iran. I uh, think there was some uh, concern about the, uh, uh, the Islamic regime's um, legitimacy, let's put it that way. So, the Iranian regime have then decided that they would like to make use of a British citizen by keeping her in jail and until this four hundred million pound ransom is paid. Now we can argue about the legitimacy of holding the money, but we can certainly argue about the legitimacy of holding a citizen of any other country to ransom for the sins of that other country. And now I'm going to talk to you about the MP for uh, Hampstead and Kilburn, a lady, and I'm using that word only in its loosest possible sense, called Tulip Siddiq. She is a Labour MP. Hampstead and Kilburn are famous Labour voting areas. Hampstead is an extremely wealthy area full of lovies in the media industry who always vote Labour because it's woke. And this is their MP speaking for them from the fastness of her position in the House of Commons and with her uh, certainty of woke Labour uh, principles. And I'm using that word in its loosest possible sense. And I just want you guys in Hampstead and Kilburn to be aware of what you have voted for. And I want you people in America and Australia and the rest of Europe to be aware of the calibre of Labour MPs in this country. OK, now, because I keep getting copyright strikes, I am going to play you the video, but I shall repeat what she says. OK, and this is a report on Sky News. The British government says that, it has n that the tank debt has nothing to do with Nazanin's fate. But Iran has made it clear that if it is paid, she has a better chance of being released. Yes, that's what they actually said. I shall continue. Her MP, Tulip, Siddiq, the Labour MP for Hampstead and Kilburn, says that it's time the debt was settled. Nazanin was told herself by someone who was interrogating her. So Ms Siddiq is actually admitting that the Iranians told Nazanin that she would be released if the British paid up. A, uh, a ransom. And she is sitting there, just look at that business-like look on her face. No outrage at all. No worries. 
Now, let's carry on. That her imprisonment was directly linked to the UK's failure. And notice that word, failure. She's introducing the word failure into the way the British government is acting. Not the Iranian regime's immorality, kidnapping and torture, but the UK's failure in not caving to their uh, strong arm tactics. And this is a Labour MP. I have to remind you, she is sitting in the House of Commons, occasionally, I suppose, upholding British law, in which it is one of the basic laws of Britain is you can't hold people to ransom. It's a crime in Britain. And she is one of our lawmakers. Oh, by the way, elected by you, uh, oh, people of Kilburn and Hampstead, you media lovies. Right, I'll carry on. Do I think we should pay it? Of course I think we should pay it. Whether or not, whether or not it releases Nazanin. If we owe a country money, we should be paying it. Not that country has kidnapped one of our citizens and the price of a bunch of tanks has nothing to do with Trump's up charges in a travesty of justice in state-sponsored terrorism. Mind you, they're sponsoring Hamas all over the place. So obviously this is their MO, isn't it? Just a minute, the phone's ringing. Okay, where was it? Well, yes, I actually, I more or less finished. That's all I had to say about Tulip Sadiq, MP, who, in the words she was speaking just then, is as much a travesty of an MP as the Tehran regime is a travesty of a legitimate government. And you people of Hampstead and Kilburn, you really should be ashamed of yourselves. Why not treat yourself or a favoured relative or friend to these magnificent examples of merch? The mugs and t-shirts come in the Granny Opteryx design or Grambo with a firearm or the more deadly knitting needles. Go to www.grannyopteryx.com and whatever platform you're watching this on, please click like, subscribe and share, share, share.